If you've ever stood under a cold, starlit sky and watched the northern lights dance above you, you know the feeling, pure wonder. But have you ever stopped to ask why the lights glow the way they do? Why do they shimmer in greens, reds, purples, and blues? In today's video, we'll dive deep into the science and the beauty behind the colors of the Northern Lights. It all begins 93 million miles away at the sun our sun constantly releases streams of charged particles called the solar wind. Most of the time, these particles flow steadily through space. But during solar storms or massive explosions called coronal mass ejections, billions of tons of particles are hurled outward at incredible speeds, up to a million miles per hour. When these energetic particles reach Earth, something amazing happens. They don't just crash into our planet, they get caught by the magnetic field surrounding Earth's. Earth's magnetic field acts like a giant invisible force field. It deflects most of the solar wind, protecting our atmosphere from being stripped away. But near the poles, both north and south, the field lines bend inward, creating funnels where particles can slip through. These particles then collide with gases high in our atmosphere, especially oxygen and nitrogen. When those gases are hit by energetic particles, they absorb energy. And when they release it, they emit light. That's what we see as the aurora. So, what determines the color? It all depends on which gas is being hit, how energetic the collision is, and how high up it happens. Green, the most common color of the aurora, created by oxygen molecules about 60 to 150 miles above Earth. Green appears because excited oxygen releases light with a wavelength of about 557 nanometers which our eyes see as green. Red, a rarer and higher altitude glow, comes from oxygen too, but over 150 miles high. At that height, the air is thinner and the energy released is lower producing deep red tones around 630 nanometers. Pink and purple. These come from nitrogen molecules. When high energy particles hit nitrogen, they emit blue or purple light. When they recombine, you can also get pinkish hues blending with green or red. Blue color, seen closer to the horizon or during strong solar storms, caused by energetic collisions with ionized nitrogen. These layers of color stack and blend together, creating the moving curtains and ribbons of light that make every aurora unique. The altitude matters a lot. Higher altitudes have fewer air molecules, so collisions are gentler and produce red light. Lower down, the atmosphere is denser, so particles collide more often and harder, giving us brighter greens and purples. The energy of incoming solar particles also changes how vivid the aurora looks. During strong solar storms, 
the lights can explode with color and cover the sky far south of the Arctic Circle. That mesmerizing motion, the dancing waves and flickering curtains, comes from constant changes in Earth's magnetic field and the solar wind. Think of it like an invisible river of charged energy flowing and twisting around our planet, shaping the lights as it moves. The northern lights are most visible in high-latitude regions, places like Alaska, Norway, Canada, Finland, and Iceland. They appear most often during the equinox months, around March and September, when Earth's tilt and solar activity line up perfectly. You can even track aurora forecasts, which use data from satellites that monitor solar wind speed and magnetic activity. So, the next time you see the northern lights, you're watching energy from the sun collide with atoms in our atmosphere, transforming invisible physics into breathtaking beauty. Every color in the sky is a story of energy, distance, and the connection between our world and the star that gives us life. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed exploring the science of the aurora, give this video a like, Subscribe for more wonders of the world and share it with someone who dreams of seeing the Northern Lights.